Hello and welcome to another installment of Let's Play the Blackwell Epiphany. Last time, oh boy, lots of stuff happened. We tracked down the last surviving member of the Grace Group, who's a priest named Michael Cooper, and it turns out he's actually Madeline's new host, which means he's a medium and he can see Joey and all that jazz. He can't help though, because he's terrified that if he dies, his soul is gonna be taken too. He saw one of the other Grace Group members, Jeffrey, uh, he saw that guy's soul be taken, uh, so understandably he's pretty scared. He also confirmed for us that the other two members are also dead. One is a woman named Heather, and as it turns out, her ghost is actually split, which is super weird. One of them is, I guess this is the ghost of her younger self, I guess we'll call that the ghost of Heather past, is right here. And then the other one is that ghost that was by George's apartment ghost of Heather present. Um, and the other guy is Peter. He's stuck trying to change a light bulb in his gym. <laughs> so the current plan is that if we make them aware ghosts, they can be taken. So Madeline gave Joey this little thingy-majigger that I guess will let us teleport them into this anti- anti-evilness bubble, I guess, that, uh, what's his name, Michael, has set up to protect himself. So, let's see. Um, I guess as long as we're here, we can start by talking with Heather Past. Okay, let's see if we can get anything out of her. Hello, Heather. Excuse me, Heather? Oh, hi. What's up? Uh, I know who you are. Look, I know who you are. What do you mean? You're Tanya Corsi, or at least you're gonna be. You're making no sense. Uh, I'm me. I'm Heather. Maybe I'm not sure who that is yet, but I know it's me. Okay. Uh, we can try again, I guess. Look. What do you oh, mean? You're, t you're never I'm, mind. Okay, that's not gonna work. Let's see. Let's ask about maybe Jim. Do you know a guy named Jim Peebles? I can't talk about who I might know. All I don't right, want to get anyone like... into trouble, especially me. It looks like we're not going to get anything out of her. Okay. Oh yeah, also well, that Heather, Benjiro guy have to get going. is sure. apparently the one by any time. that led the Grace group. It sounds very suspiciously like what happened with Gavin. So, I'm kind of worried about that. Let's go talk to the ghost of Heather Present. Ooh, hello. Where is this coming from? Why is it lagging like this? Behave yourself. That was weird. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, why am I sending Rosa? I need Joey. Oops. Joey, get your butt Joey, out here. Joey, did you come out here? You bellowed? Yes, I did. Go through here. Let's see if we can get anything out of her. All right, hello, Tanya. Or should I say Heather? Hi there. Hello again, yes. mister. What, what brings, brings you by? I know who you are. Listen, Tanya, I know who you are. We've already covered this, haven't we? No, I mean who you really are. You're Heather Goffstein, or at least you were. Uh -oh. I told you, I don't know any Heather. Tanya. I don't know any Heather because Heather is gone. Heather is dead. She doesn't exist anymore. She can't. I'm sorry, Tanya, but she does. What do you want? Money? A promotion? Like Jim? No, I just want you to come with me. There's someone you need to meet. Uh-oh. I don't have a choice, do I? Fine, no. lead on. But remember okay. this. Peter didn't just teach me how to do Pilates. Take me anywhere funny, and you'll be looking at a broken nose. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Why are we going out there? Just trust me. Trust you? That's rich. Okay. So, uh... Can we go now to... You. I saw you on the roof earlier. Are you in league with this man? Yes. Um, 
kind of. <laughs> Mailers instead of one. This is just great. <laughs> Rosa doesn't even know what to do with this. Okay, can we, uh... Can we go to the other Heather now? I got, like, a ghost parade now. Where the hell are you taking me? Just follow us, okay? Can I at least call my car service? I don't think that's possible. What do you mean? She means that they'd never come in this weather. It's better to walk. Come on. <laughs> nice save. Okay, Heather. Where are we going? It's just up this way. Wait. I know this building. Yes, you do. I used to live here. Back when I was... Why did you bring me here? Whatever you brought me here for, get on with it. Okay, uh, Joey. Head Tanya, on through. there's someone you need to meet. There's nobody here I want to see, I assure you. Even still, I just need you to follow me. Then we can forget about this whole thing. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> hey, Heather. Hey, Heather. Hey, <laughs> who's your friend? What is this? Who are you? Answer me. Heather Goffstein? Who are you? No. No, 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 no. This is insane. I'm going insane. Oh, um, you're dead. Sorry? You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't exist. What's your problem? <laughs> My problem? My problem is that I hate you. Hate me? You don't even know me. I destroyed you. I got rid of your name. I got rid of your hair. I would have gotten rid of your face if I could have afforded it. You can't get rid of me that easily. No kidding! For 20 years, I was free of you. And now you come breezing back. Breezing Aww. back? From where? First Jim wanted a promotion. And now this idiot here wants... I don't know what! <laughs> idiot? <laughs> hey, leave me out of this. Maybe I should just leave. I don't want anything. I feel like this is the most Joey response. <laughs> hey, leave me out of this. Hey, leave me out of this. Not, Not a chance, chance mister. Huh? huh? You be, be quiet. quiet. Oh god, this is so weird. Hey! Stop, Stop that! Look at each other, you're the same person, give or take 20 years. I don't understand. I don't think I want to. Tanya. What happened when you got Jim's note? What note? It's too late to deny it. Nothing happened. I just wanted to forget. Forget what? Forget you. Forget this whole life I left behind. Why? Why are you so ashamed of me? All this, this life, it's a part of who you were, who you become. Will I ever be free of you? Do you really want to be? I'm not a bad person. I'm just kind of lost. I know I'll find my way eventually. Isn't that the important thing? Aww. Well, isn't it? Look at you. I really was beautiful once. You're really beautiful now. Aww. Damn straight. Wow. You okay? Okay. I haven't felt this good in years. It's like an espresso and a colonic all at once. Speaking of which, you can take your blackmail threat and shove it. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell Jim the same thing. Maybe it'll end my career, or maybe it'll give me a book deal. Either way, I'm tired of hiding. Tanya, listen. No. I'm not Tanya anymore. Tanya died. She... Uh-oh. Here what? we go. She... I... We... Oh, no. Okay, quick, quick, give her the thing. Took three Valium with a vodka chaser. That's all I remember. You're not really a blackmailer, are you? No, no. I'm not. I'm... I'm dead? I'm sorry. I... Ugh. If I'm dead, why do I feel sick to my stomach? Listen, there's no time to explain. Just grab a hold of this. What? Just do, do it. Do it! 
Oh, good. That was interesting. Did it work? <laughs> Only one way to find out. Okay, let's see. Oh, yay! She's in the bubble. Hey, look who's here. Heather, safe and sound. Safe. You were always an optimist, Michael. Sorry, I know this is not exactly the reunion we expected after all this time. But you have no idea. I thought you were... Well, I explained that already. So, Madeline, you got your spook. What have you learned? It is interesting. This spirit is experiencing what would be considered nausea in a living person. This hmm. spirit? I do have a name. <laughs> Apologies. She is being pulled. There is the signature of another spirit at work. What? A signature? Yes. I can see it. It is faint, but I can see it. Only the power of this circle is stopping it from gaining a foothold. Unfortunately, it is too faint for me to see anything useful. And we dare not lower the circle. I need to examine another soul. One that is marked like this one. And by another soul, you mean Peter, don't you? Peter? Peter Fielding? Yes. His soul is still out there. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh. That's it. Uh, wait, so there's another ghost behind all of this? She seems pretty easy going, but it's hard to say if it's genuine. It feels polished, practiced. Whoever she is, she's doing a good job of hiding it. <laughs> we already know who she is. Michael seems a bit more relaxed now. That's good. Poor guy is like freaking out. I'll give her one thing. It's sure nice to have another sane spook to talk to. <laughs> How about Rosa? She's just standing there. Oh, yeah. We already had this one. Let's see what Rosa has to say about... A few oh, yeah. years ago, you'd see her face plastered on billboards all over the city. Now, it's like she never existed. That's really sad. Another bestower. After all this time, we have a lot to talk about when this is over. Mm. Madeline, we'll see if that ever happens. She's been a spirit guide for, well, ever. I'm sure she's got a lot to teach us. Once this is all over, anyway. I just have a really sinking feeling that the second we collect all of them spirits in here, something really bad is going to happen. Yep, he's still there. Yeah, I know. Alright, let's go work out. Oh wait, can I talk to Heather, actually? Let's go back in for a sec. I want to see if I can talk to her. Ha! This... You're kidding me! I am not. You will find out for yourself one day. That's disgusting. What? Hey, good to see you guys again. Madeline here was just telling me the funniest story. My host, please. Right, right, sorry. What? No, tell me! <laughs> tell me the story. Father Michael? Yeah. Whoa, there's a lot of things. Did I ever ask about, like, Kendra and Emil and all of that? Let's see, Kendra. Did you know Leah's daughter, Kendra? My god, I heard what happened. Madeline told me that her soul passed on peacefully? That she's where she is supposed to be? Yes, she's fine. I see. You have my thanks for that. Okay, Emil? Are you familiar with Emil Haskins, Leah's ex-husband? Sadly, no. Leah and I lost touch years ago. I didn't know she had even married in the first place until recently. But I feel for him. Do you know, there's no word for a parent who loses a child. The prospect is so unthinkable, we can't even name it. Yeah, it's sad. Leah? Leah was part of the Grace Group, right? It was over 20 years ago, but yes. She was a secretary at the time, I think. She was childhood friends with George Austin, and she brought him to the meetings, hoping to help him out. Turns out it helped both of them. She quit her job and joined the police force. She said the Grace Group helped her find her way. I suppose until now, it did. Okay, how about George? You knew George Austin, right? Yeah, years ago. We went to the Grace Group meetings together. He was... God, you should have seen him. A total mess. He looked like a street bum. I don't think he'd showered in weeks. But that was George. He only put effort into the things he cared about. The Grace Group helped him find what that was. I heard he became an art dealer. Yeah, none of us could believe it. George, least of all. <laughs> he always used to say that he would never have discovered his calling on his own, and he would have wasted his entire life not knowing. <sighs> I used to feel the same way. Okay. We already asked him about Peter. 
Okay, we lost a whole bunch of notes. That's okay. I guess we should get going. Godspeed. Okay, let's see, uh, talk Hi, to Tanya. Hi, Tanya? No, call me Heather. Sorry. Oh, okay. So, you're the one who's gonna save us all, huh? I'm going to do my best. Well, you best get to it. Oh, okay. Anything Michael else? seems to have a lot of faith in you. He's convinced you can help us. Can you? It's what we do. In that case, please continue doing it. Anything else? Michael seems he's- oh, it's nope. in that okay, fine. Anything new from Madeline? Madeline? Yes, Blackwell. Uh, just who are you? I've always wondered, just who are you? Pardon? Where'd you come from? Who you were before all this? Tell me one thing. Have you ever asked your spirit guide the same question? Yeah. Has he ever given you a satisfactory answer? <laughs> Precisely. Wait, how does that explain anything? Uh, thank you for helping us, Auntie Lauren. Let's start with Lauren first. You once told me that you knew my Auntie Lauren. After a fashion. While in the void, I could reach out to the mortal world in dreams. The minds of other bestowers were the most... receptive. Huh? If that's true, how come she never mentioned it? Sadly, the memories of our meetings faded as she woke. Yeah, same thing happened to Rosa. What did you talk about? What did you talk about? You and Auntie, I mean. You have to understand, she was dreaming while we conversed. Her mind wasn't entirely lucid. So you can't tell me anything? Nothing that would make any cognitive sense. I don't remember Rosa's dreams being that weird. Okay. Fine, Madeline, I guess? What happened to Do them? Do you know what happened to them? To Auntie? To my grandmother? They both went insane. They spent years sedated in a hospital. Do you know why? I do not. I felt their minds when they... went. But that is all I know. I see. Okay. Will it happen to me? Do you think the same thing will happen to me? What happened to my aunt and grandmother, I mean? I am sorry, I do not know. But I do believe your chances of safety are high. You really think so? Why? I told you. While I was in the void, I could sense their minds. I could sense yours as well. You are stronger than they were. Stronger? Joey told Oops, me about sorry. how you helped him out of the void. <laughs> we helped each other. Well, even still, if you weren't there, well, I don't know what would have happened. The hole in the universe caused by the severed link would have consumed you. Your mind would have collapsed under the pressure, leaving you a raving madwoman. Uh, right. Um, well, thanks. <laughs> stronger? I'm stronger? Not physically, or even mentally. But emotionally, yes. Your grandmother fled the duty. Your aunt performed it with only the greatest reluctance. But That's you, true. But you, you have embraced it, thrived in it. Well, That's also true. it's what I do. Oh, Rosa. I love her. <sighs> I'm pretty sure we asked her all of these things, so let's leave her I guess on. we should get going. Of course. Keep us informed of your progress. I wonder if Joey can talk to any of them about anything. Hey, Maddie? <sighs> yes, Malone. <laughs> uh, let's see. Madeline and Michael. Sure. So, you and Michael seem to be getting along better? Indeed. He has proven to be quite eager to pursue the duty. That is, assuming he survives this ordeal. We're working on it, Maddie. We're working on it. Okay. What's your plan? So, what's your plan for after this is all done? Convince I'd like my to know. to leave the city, I suppose. There is no need for two bestowers here. Or perhaps your host can be persuaded to relocate. What do you think, Red? You want to leave New York? <laughs> Maybe go to Europe? My apartment is rent control, Joey. What do you think? There you go. <laughs> oh, Rosa. Can we stop this? Do you really think we can stop Whatever this is. I do hope so. For my host's sake, at the very least. Okay. The Countess? So we never really talked about the Countess. That's true. I'm aware. I have purposely avoided the subject. Why is that? She banished me alone. Left me alone in an infinite void of nothing. I may have forgiven her. I may even understand her motives. But I cannot bear to think of her. Not yet. Please Aww. don't ask about her again. Okay, if you say so. Is it just me or are her eyes two different colors? 
right. leave her alone. We're gonna take off, plan our next move. Of course, we will be here. <laughs>